Meeting friends, this side Rahul Magan here is a Group Chief Executive Officer at Rishi Consulting and also a venture capitalist. Standing today, which is 8th September 2019, when Rishi Consulting is on the verge of completing 800 plus YouTube videos, we are going to be covering very two special topics, although short, which is Employee Provident Fund Organization, and secondly, we would be covering about Zomato. So the first we would be covering about Employee Provident Fund Organization. Now, millions of people in India sleep, although they work very hard, and you know that in India, less than 1%, not more less than 1%, in fact, few families in India control more than 80% of the wealth, and they determine how the government will go. In fact, according to me, the taxes the government is putting, either it's a direct tax or an indirect tax, is to be decided by them. So few families decide them. Millions of people in India work hard, very hard, and few people work like donkey, right? And for the whole day, they have no Saturday, they have no Sunday, no Ganesh Chaturthi, no Diwali, nothing. They always have a hope that a part of their salary is being deposited in an organization whose name is Employee Provident Fund Organization. And that employed provident fund organization being a government setup is taking care of their salary. We know that what is the situation of media we have in this country. India has reached to a level when the media is not only paid but it has already sold. So few corporate houses direct media that this is something you will not show. And this is happening. Like Zomato fired. 540 people which is approximately 10% of the workforce of Zomato only by giving an excuse and that excuse is nothing but the automation but all those people those who are watching this video very well know that what is the reality and we're going to have a lot of words about Zomato but did any business newspaper any media anyone dare to challenge Zomato dare to dare to challenge Zomato when they were charging about 20 to 30 percent of commissions from restaurant, did any media channel or any newspaper publish any interview of any restaurant that how they are harnessed, how they are basically abused by these companies Zomato and uh, Swiggy? No. So in India, we have reached a level when media is not only sold, incompetent, but also paid. And that too heavily, that too heavily, I agree, media is paid heavily, that is why it's a witness situation, they not show these things. So sitting today, I got a cup, you know that I read one business newspaper in a day, irrespective of the time, it's approximately 2 a.m. in the morning, and I am shooting this video. So I got a cutting, the cutting is that. The cutting suggests that the retirement fund manager may hire a new agency to review investments in ETF. ETF stands for exchange trading for uh, exchange traded funds. So I am going to read few paragraphs, which is retirement fund manager, the employee fund provident organization is set to hire a new agency to help it review and redeem investment in the exchange traded fund. EPFO has so far invested roughly 70,000, 70, 70, not 70 crore, 70,000, 70,000 crore in stocks through ETF but doesn't have a clear plan to redeem his investment or credit to the subscriber account. You invested 70,000 crore, not 1 crore, 2 crore, 7 crore, 70,000 crore in equities via exchange credit fund and you do not have a plan in the picture whereby you know how to redeem, when to redeem and why not to redeem. And before moving further, this article was published in the second last page of the newspaper. Because generally newspaper, what people do, they have a newspaper and they just turn around the pages and they just see, you know, uh, just like a bird eye view and they forget. But they know that there are few idiots like Rahul Magan who go till the last end of the newspaper. So this cutting, 70,000 worth crore cutting was at the second last page of the newspaper and I'm damn sure that 95% of the people would have missed the same. Now more than 95% of the people would miss the same because not everybody will go at the last page of the newspaper and get to know exactly what's happening around. 
the real story turn like that which is that the real story uh, turn like that the employee provident fund organization epfo expect the agency to render suitable services in diversification of investment as well as the as well as conduct of the risk audit of the portfolio epfo has a corpus of 11 trillion inr now 11 trillion inr tend amount to 11 lakh crore rupees so 11 trillion inr means 11 lakh crore rupees and out of 11 trillion INR, 70% is in equities, but we do not have a plan which roughly tantamount to 6.56%. So 6.56% has been invested in equity via exchange traded fund. We, I hereby acknowledge that I have not went to the annual report of EPFO. Soon I am going to be. Wherein I don't know because the paper does suggest that uh, you know that a lion share of is managed by EPFO while the rest being exempted trust working under its overreaching guidelines. It gets over 1.2 trillion, 1.2 trillion tantamount to 120,000. It gets over 120,000 crore in annual deposit from subscribers of the total accruals. 85% go to debt while 15% go to equity. I am still not clear how come this equity component coming into the picture and that due to the heavenly expenses of the 15%. I know that this country is having a very short memory because this country is busy in Virat Kohli, is busy in the picture sent by Anushka Sharma, is busy in Salman Khan, is busy in uh, IPL, is busy in now Chandrayaan second is busy in uh, locating the Vikram lander. The whole country is busy in, in relocating the Vikram lander and there are so many things. Although at the same point of time, I would like to congratulate ISRO for doing a wonderful job, but nonetheless, there are various issues which we cannot discuss here. The point here is, when the ILFS scandal happened, infrastructure leasing and financial services scandal happened, Without quoting the name, several public sector concerns lost several thousand crores being invested in infrastructure, leasing and financial services. Again, without closing the name, they even do not know that they supposed to take on the CDS, credit default swap on these investments when they were good. Because the level of financial education in public sector concerns and also a lot of private sector concerns is absolutely zero. Last but not the least, when the infrastructure leasing and financial services happened, EPFO immediately went in the market and wanted to redeem the 700 crore worth of bond, uh, basically premature the bond as early as possible. Now there are two sides to look, to look at this story. Now one side to look at this story, a single incident, one if you look at that, seven, the total corpus of EPFO, and I am not saying this, I, let me repeat this. They are saying that EPFO manages, the EPFO has a corpus of 11 trillion, which is 11 lakh crores. So, infrastructure leasing and financial services is a scandal, according to me, is approximately 1 lakh crore, which is 10%. And I am damn sure, which is 1 lakh crore. So, and I am sure that EPFO had not invested the entire 1 lakh crore. So, this entire fraud of 1 lakh crore would not result to the in as a debit side of the EPFO. Now, after ILFS scandal, Ministry of Finance wrote to EPFO and they wanted to check that the rate which you offering, which is I think 8.65% compared to the last year rate of 8.55%, whether you are in a situation to pay this rate or not. And there were large concerns that uh, in the public domain, a lot of articles did came which suggested that in the last three years, EPFO has not paid interest to the subscribers. So, uh, so the total fraud of ILFS, Infrastructure Leasing and Financial Services worth 1 lakh crore, has not only jolted the EPFO as an organization, even though the composer of EPFO in ILFS was very, very small. And now here we are talking about a question of 70,000 crore. I would like to end this story with the following questions because I will take an indemnification that I not went through the entire books of accounts for EPFO because I do not have the time for that. But maybe eventually I will look into that. I have few questions. My question number one is, do we need a third party audit of few top 
GIBs in uh, DIBs, uh, which is domestically systematic investment uh, banks to an extent, which is EPFO and LIC. Is it EP? Is it the annual audits of EPFO, LIC, UTI, and few domest domestically systematically important banks or systematically important financial institutions? I would say in in alternate way should be handed over to third party and on a rotation basis so example first three years you will do first three years you will do what i meant to say that the annual audit should be outside the jurisdiction of cag cag should not do the annual audit rather it should be given independently to the third to the third party second and most important is it a right strategy by employee provident fund organization that first you invested 70000 crores of the public money it's not my money i left exl 3 years ago so my entire epfo is in my bank account and in mutual funds and earning return but i know that thousand sleeps every day on a hope that a small percentage of their salary is being cut which is known as epfo and probably whenever they retire 60 62 or whatever for whatever year they will get a very handsome money which they can do their kids education their daughter education daughter marriage and there are multiple family responsibilities everybody is having third after investing 70000 crore is it a right strategy that epfo is now coming to have a third party firm who will advise epfo when to redeem and why not to redeem and last very important question in most of the government tenders a person who get the contract would always have a licensing with the government without quoting the name name we have seen in several cases like national highway authority of india we have seen in the public uh, basically power financial corporation and there are humongous amount of public sector concerns wherein we have saw that deliberately the work went to an agency who have a licensing with the government now the major question will come that if this 70000 crore business will get to any firm i don't want it to name what is the guarantee that the evaluation is done independently and all parties those who went for that business has been pro be basically been properly uh, scrutinized and based upon the scrutinization they have decided that we need to go or we, we, we will not be going. But at the end of the day I would like to highlight one important issue which our country is facing which is that the media of this country has decided to keep 130 crore people in multiple issues and they are politically motivated issues, they are religious issues, they are Virat Kohli, they are Shah Rukh Khan, they are Salman Khan, they are some festivals, they are if not then fitted India and worst is the bottle cap, uh, you know, bottle cap, the cap on the bottle, bottle cap opener. So our media is trying very hard to make sure that all these issues which should be discussed heavily, appropriately, heatedly on CNBC, ET Now and all the business channels should not get discussed. And at the end of the day, I would like to tell a very important thing. No one ever thought two years before that India would be facing a deep automobile crisis. It is a reality. Nobody ever thought two years before that we have a huge merger in the public sector banks. It is a reality. Nobody thought two years before that Indian banks and many Indian public sector concerns were not in a situation to pay salaries. Today, there is a news came out that 80,000 employees of the BSNL, which is Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, once, once used to be the Airtel of India, been asked to resign forcibly forcibly but it is a reality no one ever thought two three years before that the total non-performing asset in the books of of banks would be over 13 trillion as per reserve bank of india but that is again a reality three years down the line lic 
ई पी एफ ओ यू टी आई और प्रोबेबली ऑल दीज फॉरम्स दो करंटली यूज एज अ डस्टबिन इवेंचुअली हैव टू डिफॉल्ट बिकॉज द मनी विच यू आर गेटिंग इज एक्चुअली अ मनी ऑफ द पीपल एंड द मनी यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग इज द मनी विच इज गोइंग टू गेट डन एंड डस्टेज I would like to close this video with a with a single important line. We shooted a video about LIC that LIC is used as a dustbin. We got several messages as usual. I hope you read a business newspaper that LIC is once again invested nine thousand crores in IDBI Bank. IDBI Bank. Previously, they invested several thousand crores and almost entire money is wasted. they again invested 9000 crores and what would be the future of this 9000 crore you know now how authentic are these measures till what extent these measures can be approved by the government how long we can sleep we need to take a watch have a good time and talk soon